when Jesus called the disciples. They, when they left everything, and he called them and they left everything, it wasn't a choice. It wasn't, a, it was not a choice. It was the power and move and favor of God upon those disciples' lives. What has happened in time, in time, we have seen preachers and some of you have set up under preachers, some of you have been preached, taught, and some of you have been preached to now, and it's to, and when you hear this in the church, you don't think there's anything wrong with it. Love thyself. Or love yourself more than anybody else. Protect yourself from other people. That is the doctrine of men. It's just like the world. If it's no, see, the reason why they can understand when Jesus says, do not do two for, eye for eye, two for two. It's a reason why he said that. The reason, you, you gotta understand, this is the nature of God. It's no eye for eye or two for two. The, the reason why marriages and is, is this, or I'm telling you the things that are in the church that seems like they should be pure, holy, connected and glorious and they're growing. All of the fakeness is, is pretending pretending that it's glorious, pretending that it's powerful, pretending that these things are what God is. These are, these are things are of the flesh. The things that are pretending. Why? It's because the source of God is not behind it because these things can only, these things can only flourish in the right fruits of God, in the right fruits that you, de that you desire for your life to be in every area of your life. It's through the doctrine of death to self. It's through the doctrine of denying self. When you have denied self for God, listen to this, for God, then you will find how much you love yourself, how much you can love your neighbor. You cannot find that ultimate love unless you be taught the understanding the truth of denying self. We're living in a time that you're seeing that self is rising up and this is the problem. You don't see it. And, it, and, it's, and, and the reason why the church is affected is because the flesh is there too. But those whom God is calling now, he's calling them, and I'm telling you, he's calling them, and those who are coming to this message is seeking the true answer, the true relationship with God, the true walk with God. I'm telling you, it's not about your mind. It's about your dying. You're dying. It's not about how much you know in the Bible. It's not about the school. It's not about where you, who you've been sitting on. It's not about you. It's not about how much you how much you have how much you have accomplished. It's about how much God has accomplished. It's about what God has accomplished. It's about what God is doing. And, and, and this right, and this what I'm saying to you cannot be steady and it cannot be continuously in one's life without dying to self.